Hello everyone, this is Naomi, food and health coach. Come make a salad with me. First of all, please disregard the beeping sound I have in the back. My fridge has been giving us issues with the ice maker and it keeps freezing over and it started the defrost cycle and it takes forever and ever and ever. So we might have beeping all throughout this video so I apologize but hopefully my talking is a lot louder than the beeping anyway so yesterday and if you're watching the replay go look at the post right before this one I made I shared my Whole Foods grocery haul and how I would use them and then today I'm making myself a very quick salad with just about a bunch of the things that I bought yesterday so Come make that salad with me. The first thing I'm, I'm gonna make is the salad dressing so that it stays, I'm just gonna see if you guys can see what I'm doing. So that it starts to like cook up a little bit by the time I get the salad done. And this is gonna be a super quick salad. I also have some strawberries here that I'm gonna add and I'm soaking them in um, some baking soda with water so they can get all the grossness out all the dirt and stuff hi hello hello so that's what i'm doing that's how far i've prepped and then i have a little bit of cilantro here that i'm going to use for the dressing i have a cucumber from yesterday i have the things from the marinade bar here i have the hummus the turkey slices the greens lemon all for the dressing and then i'm gonna add some hemp seeds so let's build this together oh and for crunchies i'm gonna add the mary's crackers just to add some texture i sometimes like crunchy things in my salad i don't know about you so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly like okay i think you guys can see me there roughly chop this cilantro to give the dressing a really good flavor sometimes i don't do all this especially if i don't have um, that much time but I just had some time open up on my calendar between my client meetings so I'm doing a little bit of extra today okay if not then I'll just dump like salt pepper and vinegar on my salad so I'm putting it in a little glass jar just to make a dressing so I can pour over it and some are falling on the counter here and I'm putting it in a glass jar because it's just easier to clean than um, plastic, right? So this is pink Himalayan salt, some black pepper. I like to put healing properties in my dressing. So I have a little bit of Loaiza adobo. This is the bomb. If you guys like the Goya yellow packets for like the salad and vegetable seasoning, you are gonna love this, okay? So add some of that. Another healing one, turmeric, which please pair up with the black pepper. There you go. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes I add MCT oil. Are you guys familiar to MCT oil? Both MCT oil I have right here both MCT oil and nice and what do you use the Loaiza adobo and the raw apple cider vinegar are medium chain tr triglycerides which means that it helps process like it kind of overrides the carbohydrates um, when you eat it and it's a lot of like the keto people use it a lot um, but it is really good for you it does have healing properties so you can add this yes the loaiza adobo is great so this is um raw it has a lot of probiotics in it it is really good for gut health so i always love to include this in my salad dressings i'm going to add a little bit and if there's leftover then you can just store it right um so if you're not taking a shot of this in the morning with some water i'm adding some fresh lemon then in salad dressings is a fantastic way to include it also in beans if you like your beans a little tart and sour that's a great 
vinegar to add to it because it's so healing. So we have that going on. And obviously this is taking a little bit longer to make because I'm chatting with you guys, right? So it would be a lot longer if I'm just like chopping away. And then I love balsamic vinegar. It's just sweet. I don't know. I love it. Some people don't like it. I do. So as you can see, I like to mix all these things here. And when you mix it up, it also like takes the boredom off of some of the salad dressings. I still need to make the salad dressing I mentioned with the poblano pepper. I haven't had time to do that. So here we go. And I'm going to set this to the side. Actually, I'm going to try it to make sure that it doesn't need anything else in there. So let's see. How do you guys like your dressings? I like mine sour. I don't like bland salad dressing. It needs a little bit more salt. I don't like it sour or I don't like it under salted either. So this should be good. And if I feel like it needs like an extra punch, then I just dump white vinegar in there because I really do like it sour. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side. To the side it goes. And now, if it needs anything else, I'll add it later. I'll put this here, let me close it. I use either balsamic or mustard, yes. You know what, mustard is so um, famous in dressings, like it's so popular, and I'm not a mustard girl. I don't like it that much. However, I have been enjoying it in dressings. I did a dressing, I'm, I'm just gonna really quickly chop up this cucumber. I did a dressing the other day and a potato salad, and I did put a little bit of Sir Kensington mustard. I like Sir Kensington mustard because it's not pure mustard. It has other stuff in there, and it was not bad. I actually enjoyed it, so look at me. That's one of the tips I give people when they're trying new things, um, and then they don't really like it, to try it every once in a while. Your taste buds change, or to... Um, try different brands, different ways of it being prepared. So I follow my own advice, I do the same thing. Okay, so that's chopped. As I spoke about in the last live, I don't watch this, I don't have time. I already pulled off the strip. I think it's pretty clean already. I've never really had a problem. Make sure your hands are clean, you just dig in there and throw it on the plate. I'm making one for the hubs and one for me, so I have two plates. And then just pack it on in there however much you want. Good way to get your greens. I'm not cooking anything here. I'm not heating up this kitchen. I'm going to be cooking dinner later. So your plate's full of greens. Now, how do you keep all this from going bad, right? Um, first of all, use it. <laughs> Sometimes we buy things and we don't use it. And two, I put a napkin right up here so that it soaks up some of the humidity, right? And I like to kind of shake it up once I close it so that the leaves kind of separate a little bit. Just like give it a good shake and leave that paper towel up in there so that the greens don't get like all gooey. So I'm going to put some of these cucumbers on top. Nothing fancy, right? This is lunch break. We also need time to eat. Please, if you can, if you have the opportunity, eat away from your screen, if that is possible. You can actually give your body some time to focus on digestion. You get to enjoy your meal and what you're actually eating. Um, notice the flavors. Now I'm gonna put some of this in there. I'm gonna put some of these new beans that I bought and I tried. I'm curious to see what they taste like. I'm just getting half a bean. Mm, they're not bad. They're actually really good. I would definitely get these again. They're so flavorful. I think they were called butter beans or something like that. I got a little bit to try. So now that I know I will enjoy them and they go great on a salad, next time I go, I will get some more. Because I'm going to use these all up right now. And then the hubs doesn't like... Uh, olives but i do so i'm gonna put them on mine over here 
some of these olives and the cherry peppers maybe i'll add them later because i need to chop those up so that's that now i'm going to add some hummus i'm excited for this to add some creaminess to it i really like tart hummus so i usually get the ones that have lemon on the inside where's the little thing here we go it smells really 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 good so i'm going to take a dollop of this put it on the side something creamy so that's good and then I'm almost done I'm gonna chop up some strawberries as I said before I was soaking them in what's called baking soda because it helps remove all the dirt from them and I'm just gonna quickly chop them here on the side just to add a different bit of color and brightness to this Do you guys add fruit to your salads? Strawberries, mangoes are all really good. Hi everybody. I'm making a quick salad for lunch. I'm just chopping up some strawberries. So far we have greens, cucumbers, a little bit of hummus, some beans, and Strawberries taste really good with balsamic vinegar. So you can pair it up that way. I'm almost done with this. Oh, that fell on the floor. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like so far. Ooh, cranberries. I love cranberries. Cranberries with apples and some blue cheese and balsamic vinegar. And some red onion. Mm. Oh, and some walnuts. Yes. Yes. Cranberries and salad. This is what it's looking like so, so far. That's hummus, the butter beans, cucumbers, greens, strawberries, olives. Okay. Now it's time for some protein. Remember my deli cuts? That's exactly what I'm going to use. So Whole Foods has fresh like actual turkey breast that they roast thank you that they roast and slice up so that's what i'm using it's very thin slice this is herb roasted turkey and the way they packed it they listen whole foods and their cold cut packing they like make you work okay so it, it's not an actual like last time they cut it super thick this lady cut it super thin which I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I kind of actually prefer it then, but it's hard to like grab it in slices because it's actual turkey breast. And you can do this y'all in like less than 10 minutes, okay? So, did you guys notice the, the fridge stop beeping? <laughs> Thank goodness. It did not last this whole time. Okay, let's add a little bit more. Remember that the protein is what keeps you satisfied and full. If you eat the salad on its own, um, you'll get full but not as satisfied for, for as long as you want, like maybe dinner time. If you have a bunch of meetings coming up in the afternoon um, and maybe you won't have time for a snack or something like that, this is a great way to add satisfaction to your meals. Yes, I put some strawberries in here. Okay, let me just rinse my hands up so I can show you guys. Super, super quick. Oh, you know what I forgot to do to put the dressing on before all this stuff. I like to kind of have it separate, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna rock and roll with us. Here we go is falling because I have to switch it. Oh wait, I forgot the crunchies, hold on. I'm gonna add this. Usually maybe I add some nuts or something else. I like to stay away from croutons because they're usually made from enriched flour. They're flavorful, but they're not really adding much to anything. And as you can see, I've been very intentional with the salad. Um, using the berries are a carb 
the beans are a carbon protein. The oop, definitely not in front of you guys. The olives are a good healthy fat. Hummus also has carbs and healthy fat, and this is also a carb. But these are very intentional crackers that you can use as your croutons and for something crunchy. And they're rosemary flavored. You see that on the bottom? So they're gonna add some delicious flavor to that. So if you want, you can, I need to get better at doing this. You, need, you can just like stick it right in the hummus there. You see how pretty that looks? Now tell me you're not gonna enjoy that lunch, right? Maybe I'll add more crackers to that. And I'll add some to this plate as well. And then now I'm going to drizzle on the dressing that we made in the beginning with a spoon. This, is, this didn't really mix too well. I usually have another bottle that emulsifies, like that blends in the oil with the vinegar a little bit better, but I didn't use that today. That's okay. And if you're joining later on, I add cilantro, salt, pepper, turmeric, um, the Loaiza adobo to this dressing. I added raw apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and some extra virgin olive oil. So now I'm going to drizzle this, and then we're going to be good to go until later, where maybe I'll have a snack before dinner. If you're able to take a walk, go ahead and do that. Eat away from your screen, enjoy this. If you're able to eat outside in the sunshine, in the air, go ahead and do that as well. Go get some good company. It will do wonders for your digestion and for your mindfulness. A lot of times if we're eating in front of the screen, we're not sure if we're full or not. We're not sure what even happened. We don't even remember if we ate or not. Um, so being mindful when we're eating, when possible, is fantastic. And that is all. Here we are. I hope you guys enjoy your lunch. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, by the way, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one food coaching, I help women regain control of their nutrition, lose weight without dieting, get their health back, improve their confidence, get your energy back, build these beautiful, quick, quick, quick lunches, which you can also take with you, by the way. This is something that you can prepare and take with you. I'm here to help you do that. I invite you to book a consultation with the link in my bio, and I will talk to you soon. Enjoy your lunch. Bye.